Good evening. We are on the 14th of September 2021. I'm going to be sharing with you some deliverance prayers from this book. They're for use by the laity. I have many of them I have recorded, but I know I haven't recorded these ones because I only just typed them up today. Therefore, anybody who's anxious or feeling depressed or down in any way spiritually, psychologically, mentally, physically, they are meant to deliver you from or help you cope with what you feel you're going through. They're beautiful prayers and you have to claim them for yourself in your own name or for even another person who you love and uh, say amen to yourself at the end of those prayers and I hope that they help you through whatever you're going through. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. A Prayer for Healing, Part 3, page 83 of the book. Lord Jesus, thou camest to heal our wounded and troubled hearts. I beg thee to heal the torments that cause anxiety in any of my listeners', listeners hearts. I beg thee in a particular way to heal all who are the cause of sin. I beg thee to come into my life and heal me of the psychological harms that struck me in my early years and from the injuries that they have caused throughout my life. Lord Jesus, thou knowest my burdens. I lay them all on thy good shepherd's heart. I beseech thee by the merits of the great open wound in thy heart to heal the small wounds that are mine heal the pain of my memories so that nothing has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish filled with anxiety heal O oh Lord all those wounds that have been the cause of all that evil that is rooted in my life. I want to forgive all those who have offended me. Look to those inner souls that make me unable to forgive. Thou who camest to forgive the afflicted of heart, please heal my own heart. Heal, my Lord Jesus, those intimate wounds that cause me physical illness. I offer thee my heart. Accept it, Lord. Purify it and give me the sentiments of thy divine heart. Help me to be meek and humble. Heal me, O Lord from the pain caused by the death of my loved ones, which is oppressing me. Grant me to regain peace and joy in the knowledge that thou art the resurrection and the life. Make me an authentic witness to thy resurrection thy victory over sin and death, thy living presence among us. Amen.
a spiritual warfare fire. This is quite different from the previous one. Heavenly Father, I love thee, I praise thee, and I worship thee. I thank thee for sending thy son Jesus, who won victory over sin and death for my salvation. I thank thee for sending thy Holy Spirit who strengthens me, guides me, and leads me into fullness of life. I thank thee for Mary, my heavenly mother, who intercedes with the holy angels and saints for me. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, I place myself at the foot of thy cross and ask thee to cover me with thy precious blood which pours forth from thy most sacred heart and thy most holy wounds. Purify me, O Lord, in the living water that flows from thy heart. I ask thee to surround me, Lord Jesus, with thy holy light. Amen. Heavenly Father, let thy healing grace flow through the maternal and paternal generations to purify my family line of Satan and sin. I come before thee, Father, and ask forgiveness for myself, my relatives, my ancestors, for any calling upon powers that set themselves up in opposition to thee, or that do not offer true honour to Jesus Christ in the most holy name of Jesus. I now reclaim any territory that was handed over to Satan and place it under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Amen. Continuing with more spiritual warfare prayers by the power of thy Holy Spirit reveal to me Father any people I need to forgive and any areas of unconfessed sin reveal aspects of my life that are not pleasing to thee O Father and ways that have been given or could give Satan a foothold in my life. Father, I submit to thee any unforgiveness. I submit to thee my sins. And I submit to thee all of the ways that Satan has a hold on my life. O oh, Father, for this knowledge I thank Thee for Thy forgiveness and Thy love. Amen. Continue. Lord Jesus, in Thy holy name I bind all evil spirits of the air, water, ground, underground and nether world 
I further bind in the name of Jesus any and all emissaries of the satanic headquarters and I ask Jesus to pour his precious blood on the air, atmosphere, water, ground and their fruits around us the underground and the netherworld. Amen. Continuing. Heavenly Father, allow thy Son Jesus to come now with the Holy Spirit, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Angels and the Saints to protect me from all harm and to keep all evil spirits from taking revenge on me in any way. Amen. Continuing. Lord Jesus Christ, fill me with charity, compassion, faith, gentleness, hope, humility, joy, kindness, light, love, mercy, modesty, patience, peace, purity, security, serenity, tranquility, trust, truth, understanding and wisdom help me to walk in thy light and truth, illuminated by the Holy Spirit so that I may praise, honour and glorify our Father in time and in eternity. For Thou, Lord Jesus, are the way, the truth and the life. And Thou hast come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Continuing, this is a healing prayer. The Holy Spirit, come down and redeem my body, which was consecrated to thee at my baptism, filling my entire dimensive quantity from the top of my head to the bottoms of my feet. Fill my faculties with thy presence, my senses, memory, imagination, cogitative power, common sense power, intellect, will and appetites. Take up thy residence in all aspects of my body and soul leaving no place unfilled, closing off any doors, caves or portals to the demons, driving them to the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ, never to return again. Heal me of the wounds, name them in your heart or name them out loud if you prefer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Another prayer for inner healing. Heavenly Father, we ask that thy love 
flow upon your servant, name yourself or the person you're praying for. May the blood of Christ cover all wounds and restore all to wholeness and life. May the fire from my lady's heart now enter thy servant and anoint all with the Holy Spirit and blind Satan. May Saint Joseph wrap thy servant with blessings and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Continuing. Precious blood of Jesus, throw through. Name yourself, or name the person. Mary, Mother of Divine Love, take the precious blood of Jesus to the throne of God the Father and offer it in sweet and humble adoration then send it back flowing by the Holy Spirit as a healing of body, mind, heart and soul Eternal Father we offer thee the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ the tears of the Immaculate Heart of Mary as she gazed on the sufferings of Christ and the prayers of Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, to ask you to grant the favour of the complete and total healing of name yourself or the person now. Amen. Continue. Lord Jesus, thou camest to heal our wounded and troubled hearts. I beg thee to heal the torments that cause anxiety in name yourself or name the person you're praying for. In their heart, I beg thee, in a particular way, to heal all who are the cause of sin in his or her or your life. I beg thee to come into him, that you or the person will name them here and heal him or her of the psychological wounds. Perhaps you can him her or you in his or her or your early years and from the injuries that they have caused throughout his, her, or your life. Amen. Continue. Lord Jesus, thou know yourself, myself, or the person's burdens. I lay them all on thy sacred heart. I beseech thee by the merits of the great open wound in thy heart to heal the small wounds that are in his, hers, yours, mine, heal the pain associated with his, her, yours or mine memories, so that nothing that has happened to him, her or yours or mine will cause him or her or mine to remain in pain and anguish and filled with anxiety. Heal, O Lord, all those wounds that have been the cause of all the evil that is rooted in his or hers life or yours or mine. Or you, me, or them wants to forgive all those who have offended him or her or you or me, look to those inner wounds that make him or her or you or them or me unable to forgive. Thou who comes to forgive the afflicted of heart, please heal you, she, he, her, me, yourself, heart. 
only and finally heal all my listeners myself, my family, you, me, her, she, them O oh Lord from the pain caused by the death of his, her, yours or mine loved ones which is so pressing him or her or you or them grant that he, she, they or them or me may regain peace and joy in the knowledge that thou art the resurrection and the life and make all of you he, she, her, him, them, they, you, me an authentic witness to thy resurrection thy victory over sin and death thy living presence among us Amen God bless you all and heal you thank you so much for listening I'm sending you every blessing every healing prayer and the peace that only God can give and may you always be happy and joyful in the world and give God thanks and once again thank you so much for listening be healed in Jesus' holy name